with Aaron Rodgers. What a, I mean, what the f***ing vicious thing to say. You know what it is when someone's not witty and they're in like a feud with someone? Who is witty? Yeah. Yeah, now, nowadays what they do is they just make up shit about you. I got really pissed off about that. But this Aaron Rodgers, isn't that the guy from the Jets who made all that yes. money this year for not playing? What's his beef yes. with Jimmy? You mean Aaron Rodgers wanted to attack Jimmy, so he just made up a thing and called him a <laughs> or something? Yeah. Or a, you know. Jeez. What's going on, everyone? It's Jeremy here from the recording, and Howard Cern is still raging 24 hours later. You know, the guy that just barely survived the coof uh, is now really, really mad at Aaron Rodgers for making fun of Jimmy Kimmel. So, of course, both of the Pfizer boys have gotten together to uh, defend their Lord and Savior, Fauci, as well as um, Big Pharma, which obviously pays all of their bills. I mean, I guess I don't know that for a fact, but... It sure seems like it. It's like, why are they so worried about defending Big Pharma? Back when I was young, being a liberal meant uh, being anti-censorship, being which Howard Stern used to be, uh, being anti-Big Pharma, big government. Now these guys get a little bit of money in their pocket, and they're so afraid of losing it that they'll sell themselves out completely. And anybody who knows Howard Stern and how Howard Stern got famous knows that that's exactly correct. Everybody knows that these guys sold their souls so they could have a little extra fame. It's weird to me because a guy like Stern was already pretty popular, and now he seems hell-bent on completely erasing how he got there in the first place. Because the fact of the matter is, he got there pushing against the FCC, pushing against the boundaries, doing blackface. It's, you know, it's Quinn's coincidentally both guys have done blackface uh and i think um uh howard was using the hard r in his bit but now he's had a complete meltdown because aaron Rodgers made fun of jimmy kimball this guy is the biggest baby bitch tit man on the planet 20 ply soft absolute loser uh and having a complete mental Meltdown. Jimmy Kimmel's longtime pal, Howard Stern. How are they longtime pals? This guy hasn't left his house in four years. The radio show host addressed Aaron Rodgers' bogus claim that Kimmel had any kind of ties to Jeffrey. And again, I will say this again. Jimmy Kimmel, I'm sorry, Aaron Rodgers never claimed that he had any ties to him, just that he was nervous about the list coming out, which I would argue... A lot of people in Hollywood probably are. And you know what? To be totally honest and fair, a lot of probably Republicans and, 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 and you know, anybody in government, you know, everybody except for normal people like us, they're the ones that are worried about the list coming out. We don't care. I'm not on that thing. You aren't on that thing. How, Howard Stern wants to know why Aaron Rodgers would make something so effing vicious about Jimmy Kimmel, says the guy that wished death on other people. Um, it wasn't, and by the way, wanted to uh, said F your freedoms and all sorts of other vicious things about people that didn't want to race in and get his, uh, get the same jab he did. Uh, but anyway, I see that here, no, there it wasn't long ago that Aaron Rodgers was a well liked MVP caliber quarterback. He still is, uh, who is in line for the running for the host to host Jeopardy. I don't know how real that ever was. Now he's injured a quote nitwit jab skeptic and recently accused Jimmy Kimmel of palling around with Jeffrey. Again, no, he didn't. I don't know how many times I can say this. Like Every time I cover one of these things, I just love it because it erodes what little bit of credibility the mainstream media might possibly have left. You all see this, right? You've all seen the Aaron clip where he does not say this. He says that he's worried about the list coming out, and uh, you know people can make their own implications based on that, but that's not what he said. Of course, Kimmel's friend Howard Stern has some words for Rodgers uh, on Howard Stern show this week. I thought he almost died from the coof, and here he is working already. He's 80 years old, and he's only missed two days worth of work. There was a rumor that I had to help Jimmy Kimmel get rid of any evidence that he was on some sort of island, he said during a broadcast. By the way, who said anything about Howard Stern? He's like literally just inserting himself into this. So you can probably praise his big pharma gods a little bit more. 
There was a rumor that I had to help Jimmy get rid of any kind of thing, which, again, I never saw. What the F is with Aaron Rodgers? What a vicious thing to say. You know what it is? When someone's not witty, they're in a feud with someone nowadays. What they do is make stuff up about you. Bro, are you kidding me? Are you talking about the mainstream press here? Are you talking about the mainstream press or are you talking about Aaron Rodgers? Because it sounds like you're making you're talking about the mainstream press because every article I read, whether it's Up Rocks or New York Post or The Guardian or all these people, they all say the same thing. Aaron Rodgers said this. When anybody could take two seconds and pull up the actual clip and see what he actually said, but they're betting that you won't do that. After comparing, um, you know, th th I don't even understand these clowns. After comparing the recently unsealed documents to the disappointment of Geraldo Rivera's Al Capone special, I wouldn't say that. Stern returned to Rodgers. Isn't this a guy from the Jets who made all that money this year not playing? What's his beef with Jimmy? Is is Howard Stern really going to... The guy who would looks like he would snap in half due to a heavy breeze. The man who ruined everybody's life around him by forcing them to wear masks and, and never leave the house. What about his poor wife? His poor wife was probably out getting pounded, I suppose. That's probably how he got the coof anyway. But Howard Stern is really pissed off. I mean, do you really care? You see in this, Stern says you can't just make stuff up. Really, Howie? You've made a living at it. And all it does is point, I mean, J Howard Stern ha is like, you know, he's an entertainer. He's not a journalist. He wants you to think he's some sort of like respected journalist or all this kind of stuff. Look at these replies. Stern says, you can't just make things up. That's what you've done your whole life. The world will be a better place when Stern is gone. Stern is useless. Kimmel can dish it out, but he can't take it. Stay in your home, Howie. Koof is here forever. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe Rogers is insinuating that a lot of Jimmy's political friends are on the list, which means Democrats, and he would be right. Again, I would not be surprised if there are plenty of Republicans on this list, too. I'm not going to go down that rabbit hole where it's just only Democrats on there. I, I, I don't believe that. I believe it's all sorts of scumbags. I mean, I think, I think it's rich that if we go back for the last week, we can see that uh, Howard Cern was probably very nervous to announce uh, a certain truth that he had gotten sick. We could talk about some of Howard Stern lies, of course, you know, how he's, you know, repeatedly used the N word, how, um, he doesn't wear a wig, how he hasn't had plastic surgery. I mean, all the times he's lied, his entire career is made up of lies. But what's interesting about this story is just how, uh, quickly and how effectively the machine comes together to go after anybody who might poke fun at it. This is a guy, Howard Stern, that used to throw baloney at women's uh, women's bodies on the radio, okay, for his, his radio show. I mean, this guy has absolutely zero moral high ground, and just like most leftoids, wants you to forget everything they did in the past. The left wants you to forget that they locked us all down, that they, you know, our loved ones passed away alone in hospitals, that business is shut down, all this stuff. Howard Cern wants you to forget all of that because he's a billionaire. All right. Howard Cern has literally said F your freedoms and that he thinks people that don't have the jab shouldn't receive medical treatment. Okay. This is the guy that's defending Jimmy Kimmel. I mean, I'm not exactly sure I would want this to be my main defender as somebody who has done some of the heinous things, some of the objectification that he's done to women, some of the heinous things people that he's had on his show have said and done, but he's got to take the time to weigh in and try to uh, buoy up the Hollywood, you know, pharma connection. Apparently he's really upset. You know, again, notorious germaphobe probe, how it's turn revealed to his listeners of money that he was absent from the airwaves last week because he got the coof. I, what hasn't he had a hundred boosters or whatever? I mean, that's a, that's hyperbole. He admits that he's had every booster. He's up, up and on the radio spreading all sorts of information that some of it true, some of it not true. This guy wants you dead. You know, you can look at some of even his own, you know, his uh, uh, subreddit talks about a lot of the times he lied in the past. And I don't really care that he's lied or he's lied for entertainment's sake. 
I think that like, you know, the fact that he's going to try to moralize about, uh, you know, anybody else potentially saying something untrue about anybody. I mean, Jimmy Kimmel himself spread all sorts of information. Certainly Jimmy Kimmel probably told you uh, if you got it, you wouldn't get sick. He probably said you should definitely wear your mask, even though no, now we don't even really know, you know, how effective that was. These guys don't work for you. They don't like you. The first chance they get, they tell you that they hate you. They want you gone. They want your money, though. They want your admiration. They want you to tune in and and make them something. But the second they're anointed, the second they're in with the Hollywood crowd and with the establishment, they forget all about how they got there. They forget all about the things that they said and did. They want you to do the same. But I'll never forget the things that Howard Stern said about people in this country that didn't want to get the jab. I'll never forget the things that Jimmy Kimmel said about people in this country that, uh, that, that didn't want to get the jab. They wanted you to die alone. They wanted you to suffer. They wanted you to not get medical care, and they didn't even insinuate it. They said it as a matter of fact. These two are two peas in a pod, absolute garbage humans, and I absolutely wouldn't be surprised if their names were on some sort of list somewhere. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you have a like on it. We'll... 